என்னோட நேம் சுகன்யா எங்க அம்மா பேர் வந்து ஆர் சந்தோஷம் அவங்க வந்து டுவெண்டி எயிட் அன்னைக்கு பாத்ரூம்ல இருந்து கீழே விழுந்துட்டாங்க விழுந்ததுல அவங்களுக்கு கை கால் வராம ஆயிடுச்சு ஆனதுனால பக்கத்துல இருக்க ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் எல்லாம் கூட்டு போய் நாங்க காமிச்சதுல அவங்க வந்து ஆபரேஷன் பண்ணோம் அந்த மாதிரி எதுவுமே அவங்க சொல்லாததுனால எங்க ரிலேஷன் ஒருத்தவங்க இருக்காங்க அவங்க வந்து கிளினிக்கல்ஸ் ஹாஸ்பிட்டலுக்கு வந்து நைகல் சார வந்து பாக்க சொன்னாங்க நை அவங்க பார்த்த உடனே அவங்க ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபியூ டேஸா வந்து அவங்க வந்து ஆபரேஷன் பண்ணாம சரி பண்ணலாம் அப்படின்னு சொன்னாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து ஸ்கேன்ல எடுத்து பண்ணி <laughs> chennai hello good morning i am dr panikiran i am the head of the department and senior consultant spine surgeon at clinicals hospital chennai so we are here to share with you a very interesting case in a 48 year old female who had a trivial fall at home and then became bedridden and nearly paralyzed so when she came to our hospital mri scan and ct scan showed she had an anomaly at the cranio vertebral junction so the cranio vertebral junction is the junction between the skull and the spine which is very complex and surrounded by the bone of the skull as well as the C1 C2 vertebrae and there are very important nerves and arteries running at that junction her mri scan showed compression as you can see over here from the front as well as from the back and when you see her ct scan this bone has gone into the skull and was pressing on the brain stem which is a very crucial part of the brain and as you can see over here this is the part of the bone which had gone into the skull and she had a number of abnormalities of these two bone we have done a very unique surgery where we have put cages and separated these two bones thereby pulling this bone down to its normal position this, the problems in this patient if we look at it broadly is there is a defect in the bone formation at the junction of skull and spine from birth itself which has led to bone peg which we call as the odontoid going up into the skull and causing spinal cord compression so there was severe spinal cord compression that is why she had almost become paralyzed due to the simple fall the second problem is that it is a bit unstable that is why she had this spinal cord injury even due to a small fall so we had to address both these problem which means we had to stabilize the spine by implants putting screws in to c1 c2 and the skull also at the same time creating enough space for the spinal cord and bringing down the bone back to its normal position is an important step in giving that space to the spinal cord now doing all this in a very very important junction with not of vital structure is a challenge but uh, with the use of the latest technologies like neuro monitoring and navigation accurately pinpoint where to do uh, safely insert the implants without causing damage to the vital structure and also get adequate magnification and do the decompression safely to give space to the spinal cord so this surgery was achieved successfully with use of all these technology and as a result you can see that the spinal cord has adequate space now and the patient as you can see in the ct scan also that the odontoid which was in the skull inside the skull has come down to its normal position as we distract the joints between c1 and c2 so these kind of surgeries are complex and could be risky if not done properly has been successfully achieved by a team approach with the neurosurgery the spine team and the neuroanesthesia and critical care team working together and she has made a remarkable recovery already she is recovering and she is able to move her limbs and uh, she will be able to soon walk so the surgery what we did is unique in the sense that we have done something which is called as DCER distraction compression extension and reduction of the cranio cervical junction